this place that we're eating for lunch. Correction, breakfast. Such a fire looking breakfast. Look how nice this place is. And we're the only customers. I feel so bad for the businesses here because every place we've been to is so nice and there's just like nobody here. Come here. Definitely come to like a the name of the restaurant we're at, the best Absolutely. View. So small. Patty, did you feed the cats? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So this morning we decided that it's been too long since we've been in school. So we enlisted ourselves in a five-day Spanish class at a Spanish school. So we are heading there right now. I'm really excited. We asked them to help us with conversational Spanish just because that's what we need at this point in time. And we'll let you know how the experience goes. After that, our class is from, I think, 8 to maybe 11 a.m and then we'll be going and learning more about the Mayan culture and history here. So you're gonna wanna stick around. This is probably gonna be a pretty fun vlog. Not probably, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and- Now we, the only problem is trying to find the Spanish school. I didn't write down the address. Yeah, we have no idea. We're just walking around the streets until we find it. Okay, see you guys in school. <laughs> Such a cool location. If you understand this, que es, que es, eso, que es, eso, eso Hey guys, that was awesome. That was- I'm Gonna move off the street because there's a tuk tuk coming. It's the Cooperative of Guatemala Spanish Teachers. It's easily found on Google Maps, but it's like gotta be the most beautiful Spanish school of anywhere. It's so pretty and it's got such a nice vibe and it's really fun Snacks, to learn Spanish there. Snacks, coffee, school. Yeah. Ugh, everything I can ever And want. it is so cheap. Like if you are trying to learn Spanish, like they even have rooms that you can stay in. Like you could just come here for a month and stay at their school and just, you would literally be fluent. It's crazy. Guatemala is an amazing place to learn Spanish because they speak so slowly. Mostly I think because it's their second language, Mayan is their first language. So it's a really good place to learn. Wish we could stay here forever until we're fluent in Spanish, but we're gonna keep it up and we will keep you guys updated. Okay, so like, even the most random place on the side of the street that is the cheapest food ever, a menu that looks like this, will have the most insane views here. It's ridiculous. Just look behind me. Free food at our Spanish class today. Tamalitos.
See? What's up guys? It's a new day. You might not be able to tell because I wore my hair the same way. I'm wearing the same sweater, but that's how life is for me. So yeah, we're just making this vlog a compilation of a few days in San Pedro. We just got out of another class, another Spanish class, and we're feeling more comfortable talking conversationally to random people on the streets. So it's actually been very beneficial and we're really happy that we're doing the class. So for now, we're going to go get some lunch. Do you want to come with? <laughs> We're not getting Guatemalan food for lunch today. We are for dinner, but we are at a Israeli restaurant. It's called Sababa, but look at this view. It's insane. Getting some of my favorite food in the entire world, which is not local to Guatemala at all. And I'm so excited. I love hummus. I can't even believe it. It looks so good. Hello. Tell the people what we're up to. All right, guys, so right now we are going to a Mayan museum to learn about the Mayan people. It's called Sun Tzu Ya. Yay. Who has the largest concentration of Mayan people in Guatemala the world? Guatemala does. He's the hog. All right, guys, we just got our Mayan symbols based on the Mayan calendar. Based on our birthdays. Based on our birthdays or the Mayan calendar. Pause yes. if you're interested to learn more about us. All right, guys, we're reading over our Mayan, what would you call them, like symbols, characters, Mayan sign. signs. And my positive aspects of my personality are pretty accurate, but they're pretty general, just as intelligent, cautious, charismatic, whatever. But let me read you my negative aspects of my personality. This says, quote for quote, you can commit acts that are deadly against other people and suffer punishment if you do not pay the fines for your offenses against nature. My God. I'm despised by others. I tend to be a liar and to be the infidel in a couple. Oh my God. And I can be very violent and vindictive and even kill. And I'm bad with bad guys, stubborn and lazy. So yeah, I'm pretty accurate. There's two tectonic plates here. That's why there's a lot of volcanoes. Learning about rocks. My favorite pass. That is not creepy at all. <laughs> What's up guys? That was a pretty short museum, but it was only a couple bucks, so I would say it's 100% worth it. Pretty cool to learn more about the Mayan culture in Guatemala, so. Let's see. Yay. Yes. Coming home with me. This is a really pretty dog. Happy! Whoa! 
So we're heading to dinner right now. We're having a traditional Guatemalan dinner with our Spanish school. So all the teachers and some students will be there. So it should be pretty fun. By the way, this is our room that we're staying in. We'll for sure link this one in the description because the host is phenomenal and the location is perfect. So Absolutely. we'll let you know how dinner is. We are on our way to take a painting class, pretty much it. <laughs> uh, something we kind of wanted to do while we were here and we found one that was pretty cheap and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And let's we'll show you how we do it. Let's see. Tidlan, absolutely beautiful at night. Also, look at that moon. Last day of Spanish classes. Ustedes creen? Can I add something with you? Oh, sí, sí. <laughs> Ustedes creen? Tamales. In Estados Unidos, ustedes le llaman tamal. Tamales. Oh, tamales. Is it chino? Chile Cobanero. Tamales. Chichitos. Chichitos for lunch. Now that is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. We just had our last Spanish class and I'm kind of sad. It was nice to have a little routine, an 8 a.m. Spanish class each day. It was only for the past five days, but mm -hmm. we really enjoyed it. Diego is the best teacher in Cooperativo Spanish School. And yeah, 100% if you're ever coming to, if you ever want to learn Spanish, it's like so cheap to just buy a flight to Guatemala and then stay here for like, whatever, a couple weeks a month and take Spanish class. It's so ines inexpensive and really effective. Yeah, and for us, since we live in Florida, it's only about two and a half, three hours. So we're planning on coming back maybe like once that, a year or something. That was a child ripping apart some metal. <laughs> we're planning on coming back every year or maybe every two years just to keep up our Spanish skills. And we really like how this school teaches Spanish because they don't just throw vocab at you, they teach you the basics and the foundations of structuring a sentence, a question, what have you. So it's been really effective in only five days. And look at this weather, it's so beautiful here. So amazing. I love it. Okay, bye for now. Sup guys, we are in our room and we're using a flashlight on our phone because we're currently in a brownout. There's no electricity in San Pedro at the moment. I guess they are working on it, so. Kind of funny, but we don't really care. We're going out anyway. It's a beautiful day, but... The power is out and we can't charge our phones and we don't really know what to do for like the next hour. So we just came to the lake to enjoy some beers. I don't know what it is, but something about Lake Atitlan is very slow paced. Everybody here speaks very slowly and the weather is just very warm, but not too cold and not too hot. And life is just slower here. Time to take a nap. All right guys, I think we are going to end this multi-day vlog here. 
we pretty much have done almost everything that you can do, at least when it comes to like sightseeing and walking around the city, exploring the streets. We have witnessed every tuk-tuk. We have also ridden in a tuk-tuk and it's a very crazy experience. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go back, hang out. And just enjoy the remaining time we have in San Pedro. We hope you enjoyed the vlog and seeing San Pedro through our perspective. We really like it here. It's so paced, like Matt said, and just a really good vibe. Everyone's so kind. Even from store attendants to our Spanish teacher, everyone has just been so lovely, welcoming, and we cannot wait to come back. Absolutely. So, make sure to subscribe so you see when we come back in the future, and <laughs> have a great day. So this morning we decided that it's been too long. How's it going? <laughs> Business up top, party on the bottom. <laughs> Outfit goals. <laughs> Those people are running a generator inside their living room. Hashtag carbon monoxide poisoning. Alright guys. No, don't take a video of our room, it's so messy. Do you see all the ghosts? Stop, okay? It's not funny. It's really pretty setup. Yes it is, look how pretty I am guys.